Hi everyone, welcome to Stopgap's Home Practice. This session is called Tip, Slice and Circle. Short clips from this season of Home Practice. Our disabled and non-disabled teachers dance and deliver their sessions in a brightly lit studio with a wooden floor. Pastel coloured geometric shapes glide across to reveal text inside the outline of a house. Home Practice. Tip, Slice and Circle. Hey everyone, my name's Christian. I'm a white male standing dancer. I'm really tall and I smile a lot. And today I'm wearing a dark green t-shirt with a yellow stripe and some gray trousers. Just gonna briefly describe the space that I'm in. There's a lino floor, there's some wooden benches behind and there's some photos and some paintings and some plants. So this session is called Tip, Slice and Circle and it's inspired by the key motif words from Artificial Things from the GCSE Anthology. So this session would be useful for anyone, but it may be of particular interest to GCSE students. If you would like to warm up before you do this session, Nadan does a brilliant Spine Awakening episode, so definitely check that out. So these three motif words, tip, slice and circle, you will find them in the tumbling section of Artificial Things. So just to tell you a little bit about how this session is going to work, we're going to explore examples of each of the three words, tip, slice and circle, and then we're going to put them together into three mini sequences. Clear your space and let's get started. So let's start by exploring the three words and we're going to begin with the first word, tip. A tip is when you move over your point of balance and you go to fall, but then recover. So let's look at three examples of that. Let's find a tip forwards together. So I tip forwards and then I recover. Let's do it a couple more times. Forwards and recover. Forwards and recover. I slightly move my base out, so I move my foot out to help me recover from my tip. Let's now look at a tip to the side. So again, I'm shifting my base and my foot goes out to tip and then I recover. Let's do one more time this side. Maybe try your other side as well. Maybe one more time. Nice. Let's now try a tip to the back. So I'm going to tip to the back and then recover. So again, I'm moving my foot out to catch the tip so I can recover, so I change my base. Let's do a couple more times. And one more. Nice. That's tip. Let's now look at slice. So a slice is any movement that cuts through the space. It's quite similar to a throw, but with a throw, when you send your energy, it keeps going, whereas with a cut, you find a full stop at the end of your movement. So that's the difference between those two. So the first example, I'm going to find a slice across my body with my arm. And I find my full stop. Let's find that a couple of times. Slice. And one more. Slice. Let me try your other side as well. Slice. So it's quite a dynamic movement. And one more time. Cool. So let's now look at our second example. I'm going to find a slice horizontally with my nose. So I'm going to start at one side, I go across. So my nose is the part of my body that's doing the cutting. And, and, maybe go from the other side back to your first side. Slice. And again, slice. One more time, slice. Nice. Let's look at one final example and look at a slice in either my knee or my elbow. And this slice is vertical. So let's try. You can try elbow, knee. So again, we have the same dynamic, but the slice comes vertical. Let's switch sides. Nice. A couple more times. Nice. Fantastic. 
They are your examples of a slice. Let's now look at circle. So a circle is exactly as it sounds. It's any circular movement that you can find in your body. Generally, a circle is quite a smooth movement. So let's look at a circle in the shoulder to begin. So I send my shoulder forwards, circling up and back. Let's just try that a couple more times. So it goes forwards, up and back. One more time, forwards, up and back. Maybe just try your other side, forwards up and back. One more time. Nice. That's your first example of a circle. The second one, I'm going to use my arm or my leg. So I'm going to reach forwards and I'm going to circle all the way round towards the back and then come back up to my upright position. Let's try that again. So I'm reaching forwards, I circle round and then I come back in to my opening position. And one more time. Maybe try your other side as well. So you're reaching forwards, circling round, coming in. And again, reaching forwards, circling round, coming in. Let's now look at your third and final example of a circle. So we're going to use the top of the head and the top part of your spine as well. So we're going to go over to one side, circling all the way round, coming back in to your upright position. And again, circling to the side, all the way round, and coming back up. One more time this side, going round, and up. Let's try on the other side a couple of times. We go round, and up. Last time, we circle round, and up. Awesome. So they are your examples of tipping, slicing, and circling. Let's now put those movements into three mini sequences. The first one, we are going to tip forwards, slice across the body with the arm, and we're going to circle with the shoulder. Just that. Let's do a couple of times. Tip forwards, slice, and circle all the way around. Last time, tip forwards, slice, and circle. Nice, that's your first sequence. Let's now do the second one. So you're gonna to tip to the side, slice with the nose, and circle with the arm or the leg. Let's do that a couple of times. Tip side, slice with the nose, circle with the arm or the leg. One more time. Tip side, slice nose, circle with the arm or the leg. Let's now put the first sequence and the second sequence together. And tip forwards, slice the arm, circle the shoulder, second sequence. Tip side, slice nose, circle with the arm or the leg. Let's just do that one more time. And tip forwards, slice arm, circle shoulder, tip side, Slice nose, circle arm, or leg. Amazing. Let's now do the third and final mini sequence. So I'm going to tip backwards. I'm going to slice with the elbow or the knee. And then I'm going to circle throughout my head and spine. Let's do that again. So we tip backwards, slice elbow, knee, and circling with the head and the spine. Last time, tip backwards, slice elbow knee, and circle head and spine. Nice. That is all three of your mini sequences. Let's do the first and the second and the third all together, beginning with the first one. And tip forwards, slice arm, circle shoulder. Tip side, slice nose, Circle arm and leg. Tip back, slice the elbow and circle head and spine. One more time. Exactly the same thing again. And tip forwards, slice arm, circle shoulder. Tip side, slice nose, circle arm and leg. Tip back. Slice up knee 
and circle through head and spine. Nice. So now you have the first, second, and third mini sequence. We're now going to put some counts to that sequence so that we can do it with the music. So the counts are exactly the same for all the sequences. They are tip one, two, slice three, four, circle five, six, seven, eight. Let's just recap that again. Tip one, two, slice three, four, circle five, six, seven, eight. So now let's put those counts to the three sequences that we have, starting with the first one. I'm gonna count you in five, six, seven, eight, and then we'll go for it. Five, six, seven, eight. Tip one, two, slice, three, four, circle, five, six, seven, eight. Tip one, two, slice, three, four, circle, five, six, seven, eight. Tip one, two, slice, three, four, circle, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. We're going to do that one more time as a practice before we go with the music. I'm going to count you in again. Five, six, seven, eight. Tip one, two, slice, three, four, circle, five, six, seven, eight. Tip one, two, slice, three, Four, circle, five, six, seven, eight. Tip one, two, slice, three, four, circle, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic, everyone. So now we're going to go with the music. The first time I am going to count you in and I'm going to do the words and counts at the same time. Then we're going to have a little rest and then we're going to do it again but then that's for you to go through the sequence for the counts for yourself. Let's try with music. Two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Tip one, two, slice, three, four, circle, five, six, seven, eight. Tip one, two, slice, three, four, circle, five, six, seven, eight. Tip one. Slice three, circle five, six, seven, eight. Nice, everyone. Let's have a little rest. I'm going to count you in. I'm going to go again. This time, just for yourselves. One, two, five, six, seven, and. Thanks everyone, I hope you enjoyed exploring the motif words tip, slice and circle. Stay tuned because there's going to be another episode, the open language score, coming up where you're going to see these three words appear again, so definitely check that out. Please feel free to like, comment and subscribe and thanks so much again for joining me. Take care everyone. Home Practice, Stopgap Dance Company.